Basically what we do at WeGo is that we process uh, near real-time space data for snow monitoring and knowing with precision of 20 meters, which is what we are given, if there is going to be snow or not and how much snow you will find, it will eventually help tourists into better decision making. Long time ago already we came to Switzerland and we got in love with the mountains. We were all the time hiking and it was difficult to know is there going to be any snow patches? Uh, do we need to bring special equipment like crampons or uh, raquettes to, to go there? There was no tool to realize what was the snow status with a certain accuracy. So currently we're using open data satellites that are coming from the European Space Agency and NASA. And the first step will be to process all the images of a specific region that we're interested in. We'll do the snow detection and then we'll use um, what we call ancillary data to validate and improve um, the, the model. Uh, we use artificial intelligence and machine learning to uh, remove uh, problems that this imagery has, like for example clouds or shadows. And then finally we'll have uh, our, our end product. We're working with uh, several tourism offices, like uh, Anivier, for example, that is working with us, uh, like Villar. Here we're talking about a brand new product that was not there before. Through having a better snow data, they are, uh, they are having much more information in order to say, okay, this uh, trail is uh, closed. And little by little, we realize that although it's really important for tourism, the snow monitoring is critical for hydrology, for water management and for uh, energy production. Having the knowledge of how much snow is stock, because it's kind of like the battery of the water, right? So having how much water is stock in, in snow will help, uh, you know, businesses and governments take decisions based on the future water availability.